Alrighty boys, we're back with some more West Time Manager mode and this is a very busy episode. Tons of negotiations going down and some signings are actually arriving in this episode so stay tuned for the later. But yeah man, let's get to the negotiations because like I said, it, it's, it's busy. Jesse Rodriguez. So in the last episode, Real Madrid came back to us said they wanted 20 million for him and I was discouraged. I was like, there's no way we're gonna, if we want to get more signings then 20 million is just way too much. Discouraged, I offered 15 million and this was maybe my final offer maybe I would have offered a little bit more Raheem Sterling we're showing some interest for him and, and this offer that I work that we're gonna make for him is basically a joke man this is just to start off negotiations I know Liverpool is gonna laugh at this 18 million uh, for Raheem Sterling it would be great to get him but I know they're not gonna sell him for cheap same thing Memphis Depay we offer 12 for him just to start negotiations Balde Diao Keita a young 20 year old a left wing from Lazio, 8 million to start negotiations and that's that's basically it man. Then obviously like we expected, tons of rejections, Memphis the pie can't go. Then Schalke shocks us and they actually accepted the 25 million dollar offer that I did uh, in the last episode, at the end of the last episode. But I'm not gonna go with that one, that's too much money, 25 mil, we have it but we won't be able to sign anyone else. Then Real Madrid shocks us and accepts the 15 million dollar offer. Uh, for Jesse Rodriguez, so that's good news. Obviously, Liverpool says they want way, way more for Raheem Sterling, which pretty much I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna offer for him anymore. He's, he's just gonna go for way too much. We up the offer on Memphis Depay to 15 million. We up the one on uh, Balde Dio Keita for 10 million, and we'll see which one we can get closest to. But for now, we only have Jesse Rodriguez in that left mid position. It's already accepted, and uh, it is what it, I, I was shocked. I didn't expect Real Madrid to accept it so anyways man our first preseason game against Levante Salah and Cavanda are right back are, are, are starting are, are you know this is their debut with us the first goal and the only goal in this game that would win us the game was from Ener Valencia nice left footed shot look at Cavanda look at the way he looks man what's with your hair brother so he played good he played a, a good game but uh his style has just gotta go man I'm thinking of cutting him just because of his style anyways man uh, that's a joke, obviously. William Carvalho, uh, you know, Sporting wants way too much for him. Same thing with Junior Malanda. These guys are going for well over $10 million. So we're probably going to look for a center defensive mid elsewhere. Right here, Stuart Downing, 31 years old. And he's worth, you know, a good amount of money. Same thing with Matt Jarvis. And all these guys that I'm transfer listing right here, or that I've transfer listed, are, are getting up there in age. Kevin Nolan, 33 years old. And they don't, they just don't get enough playing time. We're, we're pretty much stacked in a lot of positions. They don't get enough playing time. And let's see if we could sell them and, you know, get something into our transfer budget that would help us sign more players. Andy Carroll, it's 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 not fair what I'm doing to him, man. So I, I got to let him go, man. I got to let go of Andy Carroll. And this is who I'm going after. Now, I, I thought about this move and I don't know if it's the smartest move. And I know some, some people will mention this is a dumb move, but it's a move that I felt I wanted to do. And it's a move that... You know, I feel is right for this team. 8.5 million is is the value for Andy Carroll. I don't know how much Atletico would be willing to sell Raul Jimenez, but it's not going to be less than 7 million. I'm pretty sure about that. So maybe I could have sold Carroll for more and made a little bit of a profit, but I wanted the transfer, the trade to go down now. So we'll see what happens. See if Atletico accepts the trade. Uh, right here, Sandro, we're going after him. Let's see if we could pick him up. 26 year olds, 26 years old for 10 million. Fernando, this guy from Shakhtar, another center center defensive mid, another Brazilian, 23, and we're also offering 10 million for him. We'll see which one of the two we can get. That would be great. So the whole Fabian Scherer thing, it's not over yet. We did offer Basel uh, 9.5, and it was an offer they rejected. So we're offering 4.5 and James Tompkins, valued at 4.6, a 75 overall 26 year old center back. He's a good player. So this whole value is less than what we had initially offered him. This this value is 9.1. We first we offered him 9.5 and they rejected. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But anyways, Jesse Rodriguez. So I'm going to go after Jesse Rodriguez. Uh, you know, Memphis Depay, I really, really wanted him, but they just want way too much. PSV is not budging, so we're going after Jesse Rodriguez, and he wins a lot in wages, and he wants more. He says he doesn't want to leave Madrid, that he's very comfortable, that he loves living there. What I translate that to is, 
I want to be a crucial first team player and I want to get paid more. So we're offering him 105,000 and we'll see if we can convince him to come over here, man. So Paul McCullum, we let that young gun go uh, on loan because we're stacked in the striker position. Shakhtar actually accepts a $10 million offer for their young center defensive mid, Fernando. And Atletico actually says you have a deal for the Andy Carroll, uh, Raul Jimenez trade. So Raul Jimenez is close to landing in West Ham. We obviously still have to manage uh, and negotiate his contract personally. Personally, Fabian Scher, Basel says no sir to that offer that we first made. Although they're interested in the player, they want more money. So we're still offering Tompkins and we're upping the, the, the offer, the value to $5.2 million. So we'll see if Basel, I mean, we can we could be signing a very, very good center back and a good striker here in Raul Jimenez. He wins a lot in wages, man. So we'll see. It, it hurts, man. It hurts to pay these guys like like Jesse Rodriguez a lot in wages, man. They better play like beasts, man. They better play well. Our second preseason game uh, ended in a one-all draw at home, which I wasn't happy about. We didn't play well. Um, QPR says no to 10 million. They want 15.5. I say no way. You're getting the max. You're getting is 12 because I already have Fernando, the Shakhtar center defensive mid, uh, in the bag. This this signing is in the bag. All I have to do is negotiate his contract, and he doesn't win that much in wages so i go ahead and offer him a deal four years of uh, 60,000 in wages a crucial first team player which he is going to be the starting defensive center defensive mid 112 i had i mean he said just doesn't want to come he doesn't want to leave madrid oh come on he said we're so close to signing him but we have to keep offering him more and more so like an idiot man listen to this i like an idiot i sold i sold our backup goalkeeper without realizing he was the only backup goalkeeper i had so I have to scramble and quickly look for a goalkeeper to, to cover Adrian's ass in case he gets injured, man. Because he's the only goalkeeper in the roster. So quickly, I, I called, I got my phone, I, I made made some phone calls, and I heard about this guy, Alex Meret, Meret, whatever. We offer uh, 650000 to Udinese for him. We'll see if uh, they accept that. I mean, he wasn't worth that much. And right here, we're accepting Fernando, 23-year-old Brazilian center defensive mid from Shakhtar. 60,000 in wages, so welcome to the team. Jesse Rodriguez finally accepts 112,000 in wages. This one hurt. This one hurt, man. He wins a lot of money, but Jesse is in the team. So welcome, Fernando. Welcome, Jesse. And we're close to signing Fabian Share, but they want more money right here. We're offering this contract. So Udinese did, did accept the Alex Meret uh, offer. For 650,000. This he's gonna be he's a young goalkeeper with tons and tons of potential, and he's just you know backup for Adrian. Right here, Raul Jimenez does not want to budge and he wants more money. So I'm offering him a hundred and five thousand crucial first team player. My goodness, man, these players just don't accept their damn contract. So, anyways, man, Alex Meret, the backup goalkeeper, Fabian Scher, Raul Jimenez. These are basically our last three signings. I wish I could have signed Memphis Depay. I saw the comments. Most of you guys said sign Depay over Hesse, but Depay, they were just asking way too much. I'm really, very, very sorry about that. But Hesse arrives here at West Ham United, and hopefully you guys accept them with open arms. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Do you agree or disagree with the signings we've made so far? I, I want to hear you. I want to hear you in the comments. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Likes appreciated. Catch you on the next one. All suited up. Ready for these sponsorship meetings. Let's get this show on the road. Good individual performances with Wolverhampton. The recent national team call-up have caught the attention of important brands, Adidas.